hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to take a tour at Lowe's to see all the new plants they have in for this week if you have not uh, subscribed to the channel please do so I would love to have you okay let's go guys right here we have the endless summer hydrangea this is the bloom struck it uh, likes morning sun partial shade and it gets between three to four feet in height and five to four feet in width. The hardiness is negative 30, hardy to zone four, and it says AHS heat zone nine. Okay, and this is the hydrangea. It is beautiful, guys. So this is a two gallon container that is in for 30 bucks. Oh yeah. Now down here we have crepe myrtle. This is a beautiful tree here. It is a two gallon in a two gallon container. It loves full sun. The foliage is red. It turns dark green. Water needs is medium. U.S. Hardy Zone Seven. It gets eight to ten feet tall and six to eight feet wide, and it is a deer resistant plant. And this is the coral magic crepe myrtle. Okay. Yes, guys, they have a lot of new carts out here. So that's what we're looking at today. Fresh off the cart. <laughs> so right here we have more hydrangeas. This is the tuxedo dark foliage hydrangea. Okay. It, it, it loves full sun to part shade. This is a compact flower. And it gets three feet tall and three feet wide. It is 30 bucks. And let's see if there's anything else it can tell us. It's cold hardy to zone six. Perfect for patio containers and shady area of the garden. Okay. And there she goes in her glory. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, yes. And it's in a nice pot right here. Little cream pot. No crepe myrtles here. Okay. So right here, proven winners. A lot of their petunias are out right now and caliber coral, I'm sure. Okay, these are super bells. Over easy caliber coral. They are $5.98. And this is a full to part sun plant. The container is 1.56 uh, pint. Okay. It has a mounding trailing habit. It's, it gets six to 12 inches tall. You want to space it eight inches apart. The max is 12 inches apart. And yeah, um, annual except in zone 9A through 11B. Hardy to Nick, hardy to 30 Fahrenheit. Okay. So that is Miss Super Bell Over Easy Caliber Coral by Proven Winners. So we have this one, and then we have uh, Limoncello. Limoncello. <laughs> and look at that beautiful white one. It's the Super Tunia Mini Vista White Petunia. OMG. Yes. Okay, right here we have Super Bell's Tropical Sunrise Caliber Coral. beautiful color here is the lovey dovey <laughs> lovey dovey how about that nice and this one is the super tunia honey petunia right here okay beautiful beautiful and we all know that th this is a powerful plant it gets huge isn't it beautiful guys oh i just love them Okay, move along. Right here we have more petunias here. These are Lowe's brand. And this red is just so striking. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Oh. Okay, so it is a full sun plant. It needs at least six plus hours of direct sun. It blooms spring, summer, and fall. It has a mountain habit. And it is $7.98. Let's round it up to eight bucks. 
and this is a 2.5 quart size container. Ooh, look at these colors. Ooh, how beautiful. Oh. <laughs> If puppies and plants don't make you happy, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> wow, how beautiful. Okay, so right here, Lowe's, all of these right here are going to be Lowe's products on this on this cart. Okay, so these are the Sun Patience Compact Tropical Rose. It's a full sun plant. It blooms spring, summer, and fall. It has a mountain habit, and this is a 2.5 quart container. And it is 10 bucks. Okay. How big does it get? Uh, cold hearted it is good for all zones. None hardy below 40 Fahrenheit. The average mature size is 16 to 24 in height and 14 through 20 in width. You want to fertilize it monthly and space it 14 to 20 inches apart. Okay down here this name gets me every time dragon's breath <laughs> oh my goodness okay this one is 10 bucks as well it is well if i can get this foliage out of the way this uh container is a 2.5 quart size and let's see time saving easy to grow beauty blazing color it loves the heat enjoy spring through fall okay so it's it is safe for all zones non hardy below 32. the average size is 8 to 24 inches in height 12 to 16 in width you want to space it 12 to 16 inches apart and fertilize it monthly or the dragon's breath <laughs> okay dragon's breath uh, that red is so beautiful i'm thinking about red for this year guys i'm always getting the pink or the you know the hot pink like this color here that is that has been my favorite color forever but this red is just it's talking to me <laughs> so i don't know okay more hydrangeas over here these are by endless summer okay these are 30 bucks and this one is the summer crush okay it loves full sun to partial shade it gets 18 to 36 inches high and 18 to 36 inches in width hardiness is negative 30 hardy to zone 4 hs heat zone 9 absolutely beautiful okay okay yes so this is your summer crush by right in this summer uh see this is the color i would i would i would usually pick for my hydrangea but i never have luck with this one i've tried it over and over and over <laughs> and i want to try it again but it, oh my goodness so pretty it's too expensive to just try though right we need to be sure Okay, so right here we have, I think, dahlias here. Yes, these are the dahlias. And right here, beautiful yellow. Plenty of buds. And they are 15 bucks, guys. So this is a 1.5 gallon. It's a part sun plant. It needs three to six hours of morning sun. It blooms spring and summer. It is an upright annual. Okay water two times per week it is safe for all zone non hardy below 32 fahrenheit the average mature size is 10 to 18 inches in height and 8 to 12 inches in width and you want to space this plant 8 to 12 inches apart and fertilize it monthly so yes this is the yellow dahlia oh my goodness oh now look at this one wow isn't it striking oh down here we have geraniums and they are 15 as well full plant full sun plant here it's uh bloom spring summer and fall it's in a one gallon pot here it's good for all zones 
none hardy below 32. The average mature size is 10 to 18 inches in height and 12 to 20 in width. You want to space it 10 to 18 inches apart and fertilize this one six to eight weeks. Okay, geranium, another beauty, guys. Woo! We need to take a, a part-time job to afford these plants, don't we, guys? <laughs> Just for plants. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, more petunias right here. This is the Lowe's brand. They're 10 bucks. Mountain Habit. Yes. Bloom, in, bloom season, spring, summer, and fall. It is a full sun plant. This is a one gallon pot that is in. It gets 10 to 15 inches in height, 10 to 12 in width. It's good for all zones. None hardy below 32 Fahrenheit. So yes, another beautiful petunia. You even have this red with the white trim. Oh, such a beauty. Guys, I appreciate each and every one of you who have subscribed to my channel and who just continually support me. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. You all make a difference in my life. And I want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so this is the Twilight Primrose. It is $7.50. It blooms summer and fall. This is a mountain perennial and it's in a 2.5 quart size container. Okay, I did say full sun, right? Okay, it is a zone five plant. Cold hardiness is negative 10 to negative 20. Non-hardy in zone 1 through 4. The average mature size is 12 to 16 inches in height and 24 to, through 30 in width. You want to space it 24 to 30 inches apart and fertilize this beauty 6 to 8 weeks. Every 6 to 8 weeks. Okay. Twilight Primrose. Beautiful hostas here by Monrovia. Sunset Grooves Hosta. So, this is a partial sun to shade plant. It's in a 2.5 quart container. It is 12 bucks. And let's see. It needs one to three hours of morning sun. Watering is semi-moist. Semi mature size is 12 to 16 inches in height and 20 to 24 in width it blooms during the summertime and the hardiness is negative 32 negative 40 for this beautiful hosta by monrovia uh. okay so right here i think these are rhododendrons i think by southern living Let's see. Sometimes I have it wrong. <laughs> yes, it is. This is the Radiance Rhododendron. And this plant is 25 bucks. Okay. So it says it's a part sun plant. Let me look at another tag to make sure that's what it says. I think that's what it says. It has a little... Let's see. We're going to go with it. Part sun plant. The mature size is 4 to 5 feet in height. And in width, watering is medium. The feature is a deep lavender. That's the color. Okay. And the soil type, it tolerates wide range. U.S. zone. Let's see. I'm working hard today, guys, with these tags here. Let's see. U.S. EA zone 6. That's what it says guys okay and we also have the grace rhododendron down here okay and it is a part two i guess full sun plant as well the mature size is four to six feet in height four to five feet in width this is this one has a deep pink bulb but and the tolerance is wide range. 
And let's see about the zone. Okay. Can I see it? Oh my goodness. We need the zone. They're making it difficult for us, guys. Zone 8, guys. It's a zone 8 plant for this one. Okay? Woo! <laughs> I'm going to need more knees after this. <laughs> okay, so let's move along. Okay. Right here, the purslane. This is a trailing annual here, guys. It, it's a full sun plant. It blooms spring, summer, and fall. It is 13 bucks. It is in a 1.5 gallon pot. And the specs. It gets 3 to 6 inches high and 18 to 24 inches in width. You want to space it 12 to 18 inches apart. It is an all-zone plant, non-hardy below 32 Fahrenheit. And you want to fertilize her monthly. Okay. Nice. Okay. So this is Dollar Princess Fuchsia. Okay. <laughs> it is a, tra a trailing annual. It's in a 1.5 gallon pot. It is 17 bucks. It blooms in the springtime only, guys. And it is a shade loving plant. So uh, the mature size is 18 inches high and 18 inches wide. You want to space it 12 to 18 inches apart. It is an all zone plant, none hardy below 32 Fahrenheit. And you want to fertilize her monthly. Oh, yes. And it, it does like one to three hours of morning sun. But you know how that goes, guys, when it's a shade plant. Now you have to be careful with that. Okay, but isn't it beautiful? Oh, yeah. Love it. So, we have more petunias down here by Lowe's, 13 bucks again. These are in the hanging pot right here, as well as the person. These are in the hanging pots over here. So, this one is 13 bucks. has the mountain habit, and this is a 1.5 gallon container, full sun plant, you know, for petunia. Okay? This mix is just gorgeous. Oh, wow. That's a beauty there, guys. Okay. Okay, so moving along, on this cart we have plants by Monrovia. Right here we have, uh, where is this, a geranium for $5.98. It is a full sun, partial sun plant. This is a one quart size container. It gets 12 to 18 inches in height as well in width. It blooms spring, summer, and fall. Hardiness to 32 Fahrenheit. It says it grows fast too, guys. Okay. So more geranium down here. Beautiful colors. This is the medium scarlet geranium. Yes. Okay. More right here. This is the hot pink. And right here, these are the caliber corals. Full sun plant, another one uh, quart size container. And this one loves uh, direct sun, six hours or more. It gets eight to 10 inches in height and 10 to 12 in width. It blooms spring, summer, and fall. Hardiness to 32 Fahrenheit. Yes. By Monrovia. These are dahlias here by Monrovia. Beautiful, guys. Look at that. Oh, these are six bucks. This is a one quart size container here. It says superior quality and it, fat, it grows fast. It needs six hours of sun. It gets eight to ten inches in height and in width. Bloom time, spring, summer, and fall. 
hard and it's 232 Fahrenheit. Beautiful. If you guys have not, go ahead and like this video if you like it. Subtra subscribe to the channel if you like my content. I would love to have you guys. Come on, join the family. We have fun over here. <laughs> okay, so right here we have more Lowe's plants here. Well, this one up here is by Monrovia. It is called the Dream Series Begonia. It is a partial sun plant. It is 40 bucks, and this is a four-gallon container that it's in. Okay? I hope I'm getting a shot of that, guys, because it's above my head, and I really can't see because of the sunlight beaming in my eyes, but I hope you can see it. And that is a beautiful pot that it's in. Okay, there we go. Okay? Right here. This is a beautiful pot of all petunias. Oh, my gosh. And this uh, centerpiece here, that grass. Oh, so we know it loves sun, full sun. This is a three-gallon pot here. 30 bucks again. Um, all zones. Cold hardiness is non-hardy below 32 Fahrenheit. It gets 8 to 10 inches in height and 16 to 22 in width. Space 18 to 24 apart and fertilize monthly. Beautiful. This is bring home the brightest yellow petunia. <laughs> I can agree to that. It is beautiful. And it is bright. More containers here for 30 bucks. And this one here, this combo contains caliber coral. Um, all caliber corals, yes. And this little grass, this little centerpiece here. Um, yeah. It's a full sun plant, and this is a three-gallon pot. Oh, yeah. She's a beauty, too. Okay. So, these are uh, daylilies here. There's eight bucks. It is an upright perennial. It needs six hours of sun. This is a 2.5 quart size container. It blooms summer and fall. So, it is a zone three plant. Cold hardiness, negative 32, negative 40. Non hardy in zone 1 through 2. The average mature size is 15 to 18 inches in height and in width. And you also want to space it 15 to 18 inches apart. It wants to be fertilized spring and the summertime. Yes, for these beautiful daylilies. Okay lupines down here this is called the staircase lupine it is 27 bucks it is an upright perennial okay so this is a two gallon container that is in it blooms in the summertime only guys okay it is a zone four plant cold hearted negative 30 to negative negative 20 to negative 30 non hardy in zone one through three fertilized spring and summer the average mature size is one to three feet tall and two feet wide you want to space it two feet apart for this person yes beautiful beautiful guys we can just go on and on but i'm telling you ah, there has to be a part two right we need a part two so we're going to cut it off right here i don't want to hold you guys too long so thank you guys so very much for stopping by. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you have not, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.